just maybe a, the a, the message to the three gentlemen who uh, were placed on waivers today, maybe a little bit of uncertainty for them there? Yeah, a little bit of, you know, it's part and parcel at this time of the year, and uh, I thought all three had good camps, and, um, you know, where we're at with some certain situations, uh, it's necessary uh, necessary thing to happen, and uh, but the bottom line, the messaging from um, the coaches and the management is that all three of them had good camps. Yeah. So you have, you have a couple of forwards that are put on waivers, but you also have Ernie still on the PTO. So is it um, like, like any one of these three still could pen- potentially find their way to the lineup based on waivers and those sorts of things? Yeah, it's a little, I, yeah, it's a little th- complex. But. Yeah, it's, it's a that type of situation right now. Um, I think tomorrow the thing is is that o- opening day rosters are submitted. Um, you know, we have a couple, not injury situations, but health situations. We want to make sure that we give ourselves the most flexibility possible uh, in order to for us to field the best lineup here on Wednesday night. And so I think uh, those things will play themselves out over the next next little while. Ajay, maybe on the topic of being thankful and gratitude, how grateful are you to begin another NHL season as an NHL head coach? Yeah, I feel uh, very fortunate to be in the position that I'm in. I, you know, I think being part of a proud organization like the Edmonton Oilers uh, gives uh, somebody a lot of reasons to be thankful. And um, it's a responsibility that uh, it's not one that I take lightly, but I take a lot of pride in. And, um, you know, at this time of year, it's it's important to make sure you're around family and you, you take a little pause for reflection on what, what it is you're most thankful for. Certainly, uh, I'm blessed with a lot of things in my life, including a great family and uh, certainly this position. What kind of comes to mind as you begin another NHL season as a head coach when it comes to your process and what it took to kind of get here? Um, you know, I, I, all I know is that I think you're a product of your influences. And for me, uh, I grew up in a great family. Um, and uh, now I'm fortunate to have a family of my own. And as I, I, you know, my kids are here today because we had a bunch of family members from everybody, staff, players, managers um, here today. I think about uh, the process that it, it, it took to get here. Um, as I said, Today's a day for pause and reflection, and I know in the Woodcroft household that we feel very fortunate and very thankful. And why is it so important for your players to have their families at a practice day like today? I know you've kind of mentioned this in the past and bringing family, but why is it important for their families to also take in the day-to-day here? Yeah, uh, well, I I think uh, when families are around, they they provide energy to the group, and it's the start of this season. It's something to celebrate is that we're about to embark on on the rigors of an 82 game schedule um i thought you know today was a little bit lower key in how we handled things it was a good day to bring everybody out and have people together and we try and do that during the course of the season just to break up uh the monotony of an 82 game schedule and uh, like i said i think when your families are around they uh they provide great energy i I was just walking out here to talk to you guys, and I heard a bunch of babies uh, cooing and crying, and and you see some of the little uh, little people motoring around the room. I I know it puts a jump in my step. On Dylan Holloway, real quick. Yeah. He, he was probably 30 minutes after practice today with Gagne, like one timers and snapshots, and just trying all these different things. Like, what have you seen from him? Um, in terms of developing that part of his game, the extra time and the payoff that can be there. Yeah, uh, he's he's not someone I ever have to worry about taking a shortcut in terms of uh, his workload or mm-hmm. or even putting the extra time in. I think he's he's seri- He's a serious hockey player. He's serious about being uh, excellent at his craft, and he understands that in order to take a step, sometimes you have to put in a little bit more. Uh, so I'm, I didn't know that. I'm glad to hear that, that that was the case today. But I think amongst our coaching group, we know that um, you know his commitment to be the best that he can be uh, is well known amongst the coaches and certainly his teammates. He was one of the better players in exhibition for you last year too yeah. and this year. Yeah. Um, growth in his game though to maybe be able to translate that to the regular season, do you think? I think so. Yeah, I think he... You know, 40-odd games with us last year. I thought, he, you know, in January, February, he was in a good spot. Unfortunately, went 
went to Bakersfield and, and hurt, his, hurt himself. Um, but he, there's a lot of momentum from his time in the NHL, a lot of growth. And uh, I think he's displayed some of that growth through preseason here. Ultimately, he'll answer that question uh, on opening night and as we move forward throughout the regular season. But I think he's in a good place, uh, both mentally and physically. And he's going to use the experience of last year to make sure that uh, he gets off to a good start.